It's past 9 p.m., and I wish to go home and call it a night. However, I need to finish up and make sure that the details in my report are accurate for tomorrow's meeting. All the lights in the office are all off now, except for those that are near my desk. Oh! One room is still lit as well. This is not the first time that I stayed late, I have been staying late for a month now. In all those occasions, I always see the lights in that room lit. I know her name, but we never really talk to each other, maybe because we are handling different departments. She is in her mid-thirties, with red hair, she changed the color of her hair, and I think she's attending gym class because, man, her figure. She can give the younger employees a run for their money. Not just her figure though, her skin is so radiant and clean, no freckles or whatsoever. She does not put too much makeup as well, just enough to complement her natural beauty. Her fingernails are clean and polished all the time, she changes their shades thrice a week. I never saw her wear leggings even once, even if she is wearing a skirt. For someone with silky white skin, who would need one? I need to get a coffee, hmm, I should get one for her too. I've noticed that she usually takes a cup of brewed coffee with one cube of sugar. I suppose that's how she likes her coffee. I made two cups and headed straight to her room. Seems tonight I will be able to talk to her. Finally! As I enter her room, the coldness filled my senses. Summoning my courage I said hi, and placed the cup on a coaster beside her keyboard. I thought you will never ever have the nerve to talk to me. Those were her words, I can smell her mild scent, which she wears every day. The sound of her voice has a chilling effect on me. Forgive me, I suppose I was just too shy to come here and talk to you earlier while I was sitting at my desk. She did not answer, and continued to write on her note without even looking at me. Do you need to finish that before you leave tonight, and do you have any plans later? I asked. I need to finish this, yes. I should have given this to you a month ago, but I always missed my chance to do so. I gave her a puzzled look, although she is looking down on the paper. Why does she need to give me whatever she is writing, and what could it be? I wondered to myself. What is that, a request for your department? I asked, to which she said no and just kept on writing. I stood there quietly, she is quiet as well, and the awkwardness of the situation made me want to leave. I am almost done, please wait for a little while. She must have noticed my intention to leave. A few more awkward moments of silence had passed, and she finally stopped writing. She put down her pen, straightened her posture, and sat still. Without looking at me, and instead staring at her dead monitor, she handed over the note and said, After reading this, and once you are decided, please leave your ring with me. My dear husband, I will forever love you, and nobody will ever replace you in my heart and in our lives. Last month, we were supposed to meet at our favorite restaurant to celebrate our third wedding anniversary. A drunk cab driver took you away from me, he came out of nowhere, and hit you. You flew and crashed 15 feet away. A shard of glass pierced your lung. The doctor pronounced you dead 30 minutes after we arrived at the hospital. Don't worry about our son and me. We will survive and I promise that you will grow up knowing what a great father you were to him. I know that wherever you are going you will always look after us. Do not ask me to marry again, because I will not, I am contented to be your wife forever. When my time comes, I will meet you on the other side. Promise me that you will be there waiting for me. Forever all my love.
your loving wife. The chill and cold of the room has long been gone. A ring is lying cold on her table. He is finally at peace. I love you my husband, until we meet again. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. Your support means a lot to me and it helps me to create more videos that you'll love. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future uploads. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.